Hi guys, happy early Thanksgiving. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, this is going to be basically the opposite of a no makeup makeup look, where in a no makeup makeup look, you put on a ton of product to look like you don't have on a lot. This one, we're going to put in as little effort and use as few products um, to give you the most glamorous of looks. So let's get right on into it. Get as foundationed and concealed and as happy as you would like in your skin. Uh, contour, highlight, do your thing. I am incredibly spoiled when it comes to Thanksgiving. I get to get up, show up, eat, and enjoy myself. Um, I realized earlier that there are people out there that want to have it all. You know, they want to get up and enjoy themselves and put on their makeup, but they have to get up at like 5 a.m. and thaw the turkey and put it in and clean the house and blah, blah, blah. This makeup look is uh, its for you guys from start to finish, getting all the stuff together to the time I hit the end button on, on the video. It took like 30 minutes, so I really hope that this is you know, a fun, glam look that you have time to squeeze into your day. Okay, I am primed, concealed, foundation, uh, contoured, brows are on, and we are ready to go. This is really where we're going to start. Um, I am taking a brown eyeshadow and sinking in that the hollow of my eye just giving it some extra depth and dimension this you really don't need to take a whole lot of time on it's really just adding an extra shadow in there it's all going to be super blended don't worry if it's messy just go in at it Steven to the rescue! The light is fixed. I hope that's better. Here I'm taking the Metal Crush, uh, Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow in Thunderstruck just to give it some shimmer, uh, give it a little more of a pop. Now I'm taking the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Via Benito, which is a, a black. Put it in that waterline, smudge it a little on the, the lash line there, and then I take it up a little in the corner at the top of the lash line as well. taking a brown eyeshadow uh, on a smudgy brush down underneath that, that lash line. I like to smudge it out like this because it helps it kind of diffuse that harsh line of the eyeliner, but it also has those weird little crinkly under eye line wrinkle things. I, I like that because it hides that a little bit. I'm taking the brown into that outer V just to kind of sink that in a little bit more.
doing a little bit of a wing liner here. You don't have to. Uh, if you want to stop with just that liner on the top lid with the, the pencil liner, that is absolutely awesome. Um, if you do want to do a liquid liner, I'm using the NYX Studio Fluid Liner in black. Uh, I just keep it as close to that lash line as possible and then fo follow the bottom lash line up and then do that little V and fill it in. Once it dries, I'm taking the roller, or the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and just popping that on the upper lash line. I don't like putting mascara on my bottom lashes, but that that's completely up to you. If you want to do a nude lipstick color, I would recommend a stain or a lip gloss. Those are plenty easy to put back on if they come off during your Thanksgiving meal. Um, but if you want to go a little darker and you want some staying power, I would recommend a, a matte. These, this is my absolute favorite. This is the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is Cruella and Train Blue, and I am going to choose Train Blue. Let's go for some dark cranberry lips, guys. This is a really great one because it's got a lot of staying power, and it, um, you don't need a lip liner, it doesn't bleed, it's just a really great, rich, dark cranberry burgundy color. Then I decided I wanted to add a highlight. It's that Thunderstruck from Kat Von D again, uh, same as my eyeshadow. Okay guys, that's it. That's the finished look. This is as good as it's going to get. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a really great Thanksgiving.